In so many ways, America's pastime is intertwined into its history and its tradition. Just about every memory Phillies fans have over the past four decades probably has Harry's voice attached to it. Tonight, we paid tribute to a Phillies icon and a broadcasting institution. The sound is unmistakable. Raspy, resonant, and instantly recognizable. He will always be the voice. When you talk Philly baseball, you're going to think of Harry Callis. We all owe Harry Callis uh, a great deal for, for our careers, for the success of our careers. Harry Norbert Callis was born in Chicago in 1936. And by age 10, his passion for America's pastime had bloomed. The seed? Harry's first pilgrimage to a rain-soaked Comiskey Park. Because of the rains, the field was covered. There was no batting practice, so the players really didn't have anything to do. And Mickey Vernon popped his head out of the dugout, saw this kid, a wide-eyed kid, me, <laughs> picked me up, took me in the dugout, gave me a baseball, introduced me to his teammates, and thus began my love of baseball and the Washington Senators. Those golden pipes and a devotion to the diamond would lead Callis from Illinois to Iowa, then Honolulu to Houston. Callis spent six years with the Astros, but when the Phillies lured away Houston's PR director to help unveil the vet, Bill Giles brought Harry along for the ride. Welcome to New Veterans Stadium and opening day. On behalf of the Philadelphia Phillies, we thank you very much. Callis called games during five decades and with dozens of partners, but there was never a pair like Harry and White. They were a perfect team, and I, I can't explain it other than that, because unless you've done this and realized when you're working with someone that you're not comfortable with, how tough that can be. Callis and Ashburn rivaled any long-running Broadway act. They performed from April to September for 27 years, and their shows, like the games themselves, were never predictable. He literally win his own ball game here. Swing and a base hit to left center field. Hey, Camille is going to score. This game is over. On an RBI hit by Big G Poo. They bridged the gap from fan to field. And while seasons often blurred and losses outnumbered wins, one year was as clear and bright as ever. 1980. Swing and a drive right center field. Maddox is there! <laughs> Callis may have hit a high note in that league championship series, but that's where his run came to an end. John Bukovic. Oh, John Bukovic. Nice going. Local broadcasters were forbidden to call the World Series. That rule was changed three years later. Callis and Ashburn were sidelined for that chapter of baseball history. But years later, they were each written into the history of the game when Cooperstown came calling. Do we have to treat you any differently now? Yeah, a lot of respect, a little respect. Ashburn was inducted in 1995, but when Callis earned enshrinement seven years later, his friend and colleague could only watch from above. Whitey died in 1997. His whiteness, I know, uh, he'll be with me. He'll be with me when I'm making my speech. We feel your passion through and through. Philadelphia fans, I love you. 2002 truly was a banner year for the beloved broadcaster. Hall of Fame announcer, Harry Callis. In addition to the call to the hall, a May parade in media. July 31st was proclaimed Harry Callis Day in Philadelphia. And in August, a ceremony for the consummate master of ceremony. Harry Callis! I love you. I will never forget this day. Thank you, and God bless all of you. Thank you very much. Often imitated... Out of here, home run, Michael 
Jag Schmidt, but never duplicated. Harry the K loved the game, and his city loved him back. From the cradle of liberty, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, do we have closure? No. No, the heinous acts of terrorism last Tuesday will be with us for as long as we all shall live. The smooth-sounding storyteller may have been born for baseball, but he wasn't defined by a diamond. Uncertain if their up and down seasons would lead to the playoffs, the Jets and Rams went back and forth in search of one final win to boost their postseason hopes. Hands on firing, Isaac's there, got it, turns it up, touchdown Rams! He may have been versatile with his verse, but his calling card, those signature calls. Could it be? Could it be? It is That unscripted emotion. Chase is going to keep going, and he's safe at home plate. Wow. Chase Utley, you are the man. And of course, those rousing story. renditions. He had high hopes. He had his strikes. You're out at the old ball game. Harry Callis took us to the ball game more than 6,000 times. But it wasn't until his 72nd year of life that he finally reached the game's grandest stage, and there was justice. The 0-2 pitch, swing and a miss, struck him out! The Philadelphia Phillies are 2008 World Champions of Baseball! With the passing of Harry Callis, the voice is now quiet, but the echo will carry on forever. Celebrate.